Today we're going to look at fillet tool, isometric circles, contour lines and scaling. Now the fillet command is used to round off the corners of two sides or the corners of a rectangle or box. Here's a simple box and the fillet command can be found in the circles. I'll we'll scroll across right to the end and there's the fillet command. The screen will pop up and ask me what radius do I want my fillet to be. I'm going to put a radius in there of 20. Click OK. Now I need to select the two sides of the corner and it will develop a, a radius for me. Next, I'm going to jump one and go to contour lines. And contour lines, uh, when I want to repeat or make smaller uh, the shape. So I'm going to get a single contour line and a distance 5 millimeters. the number of contours 1. I'm going to take the tool path, click OK and just click where I want my contour to come. In. It's a very easy way of creating a frame within a frame on the outside. Go on the outside. Very quickly, make quite a good frame. Oops. Uh, now I'm going to do isometric circles. I think it's just it's a circle. Uh, I need to select my circle. And then here, I want this draw an isometric image of the selected objects. Um, speaker project is 6 millimeters deep. I'm going to change from 10 to 6, 30 degrees, which is isometric. Click OK, and there is an isometric circle. And that could go on your exploded view, exploded isometric view of your speaker project. And lastly, I'm going to look at scaling. Uh, if I just delete these, and I'll move my circle over. And to go to scale, I selected my object, drawing, scale, here's the output, and here's the actual. I'm just going to reduce the size by 0.5, and that will happen. Also, unfortunately, scales down everything else on the page. So if you're doing something which you just want to do one, it might be wise just to open one page, scale that down, edit and paste it back onto your original page. Have a try with using these tools.